preparing for my overseas cycling journey. Time to carry on with my training. Booster observation for 15 minutes and I'm done. Discharge. Time to pack my bike. Using cable tie to secure all the parts. Carry the bike. Eight years back, 2014, 3rd April, the best birthday gift I ever had. At the age of 41, I got a heart attack and I changed my lifestyle. I stopped smoking, I eat healthy food and I turned myself to be a cyclist. 25th March, I tested positive. Today, 4th of April, on my way to airport. Passing by this uh, Rolex boutique that already closed. Very smooth. Checking my bicycle, my bag, passing through the custom immigration. I just arrived at this uh, Oslo Gardumon Airport. Everything is going smooth, custom is okay, immigration is okay. My bicycle missing on the way with another plane. Sometimes bad things happen. Managed to get my bicycle halfway fixing. I need to carry on my job. Taking a train from Gardumon Airport to city center, Oslo. The cycle is about 50 kilometers. I have no time now, already 4 o'clock. I think the train arriving soon. Okay, my train is coming. The train is bicycle friendly. My first ride out from the train station. I'm making my way to Smart Hotel. Rolex boutique. <laughs> Smart Hotel, time for me to check in. Very nice entrance, very nice uh, reception. Stay one night, prepare before my ride tomorrow. Going. One of the best affordable hotel around this city. I need my bike to be in the room because I need to prepare and ready for my ride tomorrow. Making my way to the Opera house and I will pass by this uh, location. The weather is uh, minus 3 right now. I'm not sure if I can do this. I just try my best. Oslo city centre favourite attraction for tourists. This is a uh, Opera house. You can walk up to the building very nice cruise over there and the city center is just right there few minutes can walk from the station to opera house i'm making a loop about 11 kilometers at oslo city i'm making my way to i don't know how to call this place something like loop to the very hard to say 30 kilometers away from Oslo city center. Nice cemetery that I stopped for a while here to take a break. Frozen lake. I can camp here if I want. I have to carry on my journey. Gas station. I need place like this to warm me up. I need to keep moving. Came from that way after my food in the gas station. And I have to turn this way up all the way another like 80 kilometers. Right now it's uh, 7 p.m. One more hour going to be sunset. I think it's the best place. Shelter. I'm gonna camp here. I really not sure what I'm doing. I want to see if I'm survive with what I only have. I stopped by this shell station. This is my breakfast. I have to carry on my journey. Very cold weather, really cold. I'm not sure how I'm going to do, but I just try. 25 kilometers away from the place that I came yesterday. This is my day two. This is the rail. It's a very extreme cold, very hot. I can't really remove my glove after 50 kilometers i passing by this river i have to keep going not sure how far more i can go i can cycle another five to six hours no rush just enjoy my view i think snow 
from the main road I just enter this uh, resting area very nice location to call it a day but only 2 p.m. I need to keep going maybe I just rest for a while over here coming up Oh, leave me no choice. Have to camp near to the frozen lake. Camping here, hopefully I can sleep very well tonight. Day three, I actually at Nuttaden. I'm passing by here because I'm making my way to Rukan, something like that. And I going all the way down there. Gas station, Esso. So just like that, I bring my own instant coffee, use the hot water, and this is my breakfast. Take a break for a while, keep myself warm over here, and then carry on with my journey. Nutudon, trademark. This is a church surrounded by seven. Very beautiful. I'm here just for this. I don't see this every day put this place in my list two years back today i'm here i appreciate the breathtaking view in the same time to appreciate my journey hello <laughs> 36 kilometer cycling from the place that i came too many hill up and down it's not really easy to get one location very fast really really hard to cycle Norway is no joke go straight I'm not sure going down or coming up I keep going until I reach Rukan out from the tunnel I can see the valley very close by over here and I have to go that way I choose to go to Rukan because I will pass by this uh, beautiful amazing breathtaking view I put this location into my list two years back when I studied the route and today I'm passing by this location and I will see more like this along my way I still have long way to go very beautiful view over here stop by for a while over here the old antique train this play over here Sunset is about one, two, three, four, another four hours. Another 15 kilometers I will reach uh, Rukan, but I find this uh, very nice valley, uh, public toilets over here. This is bus stop, very wonderful. This is very beautiful. I'm cycle all the way to Rukan. Actually, this is part of the journey that I really want to appreciate. This is very beautiful. So I will call it a day today and tomorrow morning, I will cycle another 15 kilometers to visit Rukan and have a good breakfast over there. Day 4, after camp one night at Milan and I'm making my way to Rukan right now. I have to pass by all these locations. Go straight to Rukan. Look at that amazing, breathtaking view. <laughs> really, the best day of my life. Another five more kilometer to Rukan town. I need to look for a gas station after 12 kilometers and order my beef burger set I can use free Wi-Fi keep myself warm after Milan I only making a 15 kilometers right to this uh, Rukan over here and I bought a better glove at this spot shop I bought a sleeping bag look around and buy something prepare for tomorrow a Rukan a very nice uh, town to pass by if you are doing a cycling adventure that is the reason I put Rukan into my list and I decided to stay one of the guest house over there I need to reorganize back my bicycle I chain my bicycle brake my chain 
and I repack all my things. I think not in proper order. I cycle also uncomfortable. Affordable price. Reception already closed. They closed just now about 3 to 4 p.m. My room, single bed, very simple. My bike over here. Very good morning after a nice day. This is my day five. The location of this place is really a nice, breathtaking view to stay a night. This is a outstanding. It's a really windy, very hard to climb this hill. I really have to move right, very, very slow. Over there is Rukan, just came from there. All the way, I have to climb up for the mall to take a break. So I have a um, almost 9 km climb up and I have to go all the way to this tunnel. I'm not sure how far more I have to climb this steep hill. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen to me. I just try my best. Take a break for a while over here to enjoy the view. This is 10 kilometers, I mean 12 kilometers. So how far more? Let's do it. It's so beautiful. The amazing breathtaking view. I skipped my breakfast. This is my lunch. Sardine and bread I don't know house or factory no one here there's a chair take a break having my lunch cycle from Bukan up to here for 20 over kilometer it's not an easy job but I'm having a fun look at that breathtaking view snow everywhere snow it's a ski place People come here to go for ski. I only cycle. Offset my difficulty days. I'm going down there. I think the hill is done. Looks like uh, a few minutes from now, I keep going down. But not sure if I still have to face the hill over there. But look at that. Who cares about the hill? Completed about 50 kilometers from Rukan to this Raulan hotel over here. Kind of uh, affordable to check in. A nice place to stay per night. I can rush down. I can do another four to five hour cycle but I'm not here to rush I'm here to enjoy and experience the breathtaking view and Norway is really beautiful I learned my lesson when I cycle from Vietnam to Singapore not sure what I try to prove to people I can go fast or I can I'm not sure but in the end of the day I miss a lot of beautiful location but I want to make sure I'm not going to rush here. If I can do 50, 70 kilometers a day, that's it. I'm okay with that. I have to remind myself, I'm here to experience my journey as much as I can. And I'm not here to race. People over here is asking me where I'm from. They've been to Singapore. Hello everyone. Hello. Many Norway people know where is Singapore. I at Rowland for a night stay over here, having my dinner. My dinner paid by this uh, Norwegian, and they got something to say to everyone at Sentosa. Hello, Hello Sentosa. I, my day six, very nice stay yesterday over here. Came from Rukan, and this is Rowland. I'm making my way to as far as I can. I actually want to 
go up to Stavanger. I really not sure what going to happen to me. Look at that house. The really uh, amazing breathtaking view to stay that kind of house, yeah. Two kilometer from the hotel, I can see the SO station over here. I had to keep left. Nice town actually over here. Keep going. I came from that way and a very nice uh, stopover breathtaking view. Every now and then, I will pass by this kind of uh, architecture house. I think this is one of the Norwegian uh, trademark. In front of uh, this house, a nice breathtaking view. Nice location to pass by. Came from that way. I have to go up this way. I'm not sure if I can do it. Let me try. I only climb a few kilometers. Damn steeper than Rukan to Raulan Hill. This is much more worse. I don't know how long more I can go. I have to keep going up until the top. Another zigzag over there. And this very steep hill. You can see very nice belly over there. And I have to go up similar like this all the way. I'm not sure how long more I have to go like this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one at a time. Have to stop, give way. This is uh, after 20 km climb from the bottom. Enjoying my uh, amazing, breathtaking view. As usual, I really appreciate this kind of uh, a view. This is... Alright, hello! <laughs> Just stopping by here, talking to the local. Thank you very much, I'll see you again. Okay, I will careful. Thank you, thank you. Have a good ski, have a good ski. So beautiful over here. Very amazing, breathtaking view. Ah, I'll be honest, very worth for me to climb that very horrible steep hill. I not regret doing this. Even the hill is so steep, but this view take away the pain from me. I'm okay with that hill. I'm okay. This is outstanding. Long ride, about 87 kilometers. A camp over here. I have a very good new sleeping bag right now. And look there, long way to go. Another half an hour going to be sunset. Before that happened, I have to prepare everything. Very good morning, uh, very good camping yesterday night over here. I already clean up everything. Make sure no mess is left behind. A good weather on the other side. A good weather on the other side. I'm going this way. Let's do it. Sitting here near the toilets. Make use of the toilet facilities. There is some hot water. I make my own mashed potato from the packet and this is a naan. Yesterday I only eat sardine, pita bread, corn in the can. Without making any fire, just open up and eat. This is how I try to survive if I don't get any cafe or gas station to eat. Did this few days. Much more fun to eat this way. A town from the top mountain. I think this uh, place they call Valley, something like that. Go all the way straight. Uh, not sure how far more. 
Uh, Joker stopover and it's a local from Norwegian here advised me the direction that I want to go because they close for snow. So thank you. Say thank you. Hello Singapore. Hello Singapore. <laughs> the local around here, this called Valley, advised me that I only can go Stavanger by follow Avis, uh, Avis, uh, <laughs> no idea, something like that because the rest of the road covered by snow. This is a very nice journey, very nice experience, long way to go. I need to detour about 200 kilometers to Stavanger because my plan was This is not a summer season. That route is closed. <laughs> but I'm okay to do this detour. This is one of the best journey experience in my life. Switch this uh, gas station and my way all the way the other side later on. Make me uh, my hamburger. That's my power bank there. Nice to have this kind of place every now and then you can just uh, take a break, recharge. My day 7, 25 km from the place that I came. One of the gas station has the facilities, food, toilets and place like this to sit. After my lunch at the gas station, I making my move. about 40 kilometers. I'm not sure how far more I want to go. The most my speed between 5 kilometers to 25. Cycling along the road just beside you a waterfall. I'm in a very difficult situation right now. I can still go further. A waterfall and this a resting area. Too early to call it a day. I don't know man, I need to <laughs> sit down for a while and think about it. I decided to left the waterfall and I'm passing by here right now. Nice view! Another best day of my life! Many many best day of my life! Oh yeah! Decided to stop by here and camp and I have a one a local Norwegian is uh, talking to me and she is giving me a glove yes. for backup. It's very nice. Norwegian. No read. Yes. yes. Okay. It's no, no, no read. You want to say hello to Singapore? Hello, Singapore. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> the boat is uh, been lifting up and up and up. It's a canal. Canal. Yes. Just to go to the other river. Yes. Transfer to the other side of river. Uh, here we are now. Its name is Biglam. I see. Welcome to Bigelan, yeah? yeah. 68 kilometers from Valle to this Bigelan. And this is a, a park and this is a valley, lake, a river, something like that. You call whatever you want to call. And there is a toilet facilities, very easy for me. I use this uh, table to unpack all my stuff. It's a very simple tent, it's a cheap tent. Everything I'll tear apart right now, but I just uh, fix bit by bit. And my new sleeping bag, <laughs> outstanding. Yesterday, I slept very well on top of the mountain. And I'm not a fussy person. I can eat anything, almost anything. Sardine, I just paste and mayonnaise. This is my oil leaf. I need something like this for health in the same time taste salty I need that can fish ball I'm going to try I'm not going to make any fire or what I'm very simple I just open eat a nice place to camp and get a, a good sleep tonight about 4 a.m. snow came down 
I changed my position to this restroom. Had a good day yesterday. Slept well. Experienced no. One of the best day of my life. With the the kind of view. Now is seven forty. According to my map, me about five kilometer. There is a gas station. There's only one thing to do today. Cycling. This uh, station talking to this uh, Norwegian. I ride uh, with joy riders. Yeah. I ride with joy riders. Joy riders. I see. Okay. <laughs> he stay in Singapore, Bishan. Ah, uh, next to me, I'm okay. Want to say something to Singapore? Yeah. Hello, Singapore. You're very brave from Singapore, biking in Norway <laughs> this time of the year. It's not a good time, yeah. No, little bit early. Okay, a good chat with uh, one of a uh, Norwegian that stay in Singapore at the gas station because of the bad weather today and many shop going to be closed for a few days. He invite me to stay at his house for a day. I cycle now about three to four kilometers. I nearby to his house. I reach the house over here. Amazing, breathtaking view. I really appreciate that I going to have a hospitality, welcome stay. I'm so blessed today. I'm really blessed. This is one of the best day. Another one of the best day of my life. I would like to say thank you to my brother here. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Welcome. Yes. And this is one of a Norwegian simple food to eat, yeah. One night staycation, making my move tomorrow to Stavanger. I try to ride as much as I can. This is my day night. The best hospitality from I had to say his name. He's uh, one of the businessmen in Norway. A very nice dinner, cooking for me and breakfast, and he provide me with a proper a gear to do my bike touring that very rare people doing at this uh, month. About two to three days, the shop will not be open. The Joker here grocery shop closed, and the shell right there closed. I got everything prepared. Next two days, I need to be uh, independent with what I have in my bicycle right now. I have to make uh, another decision which uh, route that best for me to go to Stavanger. enter one of the tunnel and but the tunnel has a safety light for bicycle all I need to do is push the button yep another road user aware there is a bicycle in the tunnel very nice campsite over here bump into the Stavanger uh, resident. Say hello hi. to Singapore. Hi, hi Singapore. Okay. Bring quick lunch with you to give you more energy to ride long distance. If I go straight, follow number nine, I will go all the way to Christian Sun and I have to make a very big loop to Stavanger. But I also can do 42 tons start on start something like that up to the hill a uh, little bit shorter way but i have to face uh, forest and hill not sure right now i really not sure very lucky uh, this gas station open today i can refill my water and go inside warm my body a little bit very beautiful forest to pass by the climb is also kind of uh, long and slightly stiff very stiff actually <laughs> i try my best
coming up another hill I have to face in front of me. I'm not sure what is that, but I know that's something to do with the information. And I, oh, a good climb over there. And I'm not sure what is this, but something to do with history, information, border, something like that. I have no idea. I actually enjoy the hill climb, enjoy the hill down. Up, down, up, down, up and down, up again and down. Ninety kilometer from Begalan. It's getting dark. There's a resident house over there. Car park. So I got no choice. I just came around here. Good morning. Looks like a very good weather. The bird making so much noise. Ask me to wake up maybe. I need to uh, pack all my stuff and ready to go early in the morning the bird makes so much noise uh, a very good wake up call now i'm making my way to uh, tung's tat Still far away to go to the gas station. I really need to fill up something into my body. Otherwise, hard for me to climb. That is part of it. I keep climbing the hill. I think it's another 20 kilometers to turn start. I hope I can make it. To turn start by today. This is going down slow, but I don't be so happy soon. After this down slope, going up again. Very horrible hill to go through. Long day actually because of the climb. Very nice. 1.3 kilometer tunnel. The climb very steep and long, non stop, but the reward amazing, breathtaking view. It's like a ghost town today. No one around. Everywhere is closed. I have to hang up at this town for quite some time. Weather over here is good, not so cold. I had a broken spoke. At the same time, I do some service job to make the right more smooth. Try to fix as fast as I can. Everybody go to church because of a Good Friday. And this is my day 10. I call it a day at this uh, toilet facilities. My bike already fixed. Prepare to have my dinner, canned food. This is stone start. Very beautiful town to stay a night. Very good morning. This is my day 11. Uh, slightly heavy load on my bike. Got from this extra grocery. Try my best. This is very steep hill. Very steep. Big back. I actually sweating. What the heck. But this waterfall give me some energy to go further. On my way to Stavanga, another about 120 kilometers. The route way to Stavanga, very nice. I just passed the four kilometer steep climb. Not that bad, very bad actually. Amazing breathtaking view from Tonstad to Stavanga. Another amazing day 
of my life. Weather over here not that cold. A very nice to ride. Another few more weeks. I think slightly more warmer. To pass by here with this kind of weather, outstanding. I experienced snow mountain, minus eight degree. This is my first time to Europe and I choose Norway to do cycling. I will remember this for the rest of my life. This is my day 11, cycling Norway, on my way to Stavanga. <laughs> Stop, five minutes rest, to take a break, to enjoy another amazing, breathtaking view. Location to cross, go over to Stavanger. A wonderful road. You know the weather sometimes hot, sometimes cold over here. I think very weird. And this is amazing, breathtaking view. And I have to go through tunnel. Oh come on! Don't you agree? This is a breathtaking view. Another best day of my life! A very long tunnel ride. Very long. Finally, see some lights over there. Almost 60 kilometers right? What? Kind of long climb actually. I'm not sure how many more climb. This one is down. That is gas station. That is Kiwi. And that is Rima. This is cell station. On my way to Stavanga, another 15 kilometers. So many up coming up now to me. Set my tent there. Facing the view. My bicycle here. And public toilet over there. What else can I ask? Stay quiet. Good night. Very good morning, this is my day 12. Slept well yesterday at this uh, park. I think this place called San Mas. E39 Highway. Yesterday, Saturday, the route is really uh, busy. So sometimes I have to go up to cycling lane and sometimes the cycling lane disappeared. I have to go up back to the main road. A little bit dangerous. If you are tourer, you do what you have to do. I think you understand that. A huge cemetery in between cycling lane and road E39. SO station, heating capacity, I can charge my power bank. The burger is damn huge. Time to eat, I can make my own coffee. That's why I love gas station. I had a good breakfast. Welcome to Stavanga. I have to go that way and then I don't know what happened. Ferry or tunnel or bus. I just keep going, keep going. I make a mistake. I enter an uh, undersea tunnel for 5 kilometers. I got Escort from a very kind police. I uh, make sure that I save right now. They're helping me wait here for a bus to go to another tunnel to take ferry to Lord Fusen. I like to apologize to a uh, Norway government that mistake that I did. Thank you very much. Say hello to Singapore. Hello. <laughs> this is the first tunnel that I did my mistake for five kilometers, I think, or maybe eight. I have no idea. Uh, the police escort me and now I have to go for second tunnel this time I make sure I take the bus so I waiting here for the bus 
Mistake is mistake. What can you say? Along the way, you're doing touring, you will make some mistake. There will be no perfect in your life. A big mistake for the first tunnel, I took a bus right to this uh, second tunnel and the bus driver dropped me around here. It's a man uh, helping me over here because uh, my face came out in the newspaper that I go under the tunnel. He's helping me now uh, to get into my way. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, say hello to Singapore. Hi, Singapore. This buddy helping me to go half through to the ferry. Uh, show me the right way because I I really lost my way. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yes, I peace the holiday. Finally, I get my way to a ferry. The queue over here, get ready to go into the ferry. This is my first ferry ride in Norway. I'm going to cross from this place to another place to get into Lotfusen, something like that. Oh, very hard for me to say all the words, always wrong. I'm going to visit the Twin Waterfall. That is my dream. to see some view. My bike over there, the ferry is moving towards the other land. Inside the ferry actually has a cafe, a food facilities. So you don't have to worry about getting hungry. Just out from the ferry, now I'm making my way to Lod Fusan. Once I'm out from the ferry terminal, it's a very nice route. This is route E39 from Stavanger. Not bad at all. There's some curve over there. Very nice bridge to cross over to this way. And all the way up, you can see some cyclists. Long way to go, about 150 kilometers to Lot Fusen. Three days. For the next three days, I am going to shit, eat, sleep at the highway. What is going to happen to me? I have no idea. And this is the toilet facilities. I set my tent over there. I already did 60 kilometers and the day is getting dark and I call it a day. Tomorrow, my day 13. I have to keep going as far as I can. This is my dinner. I'm making mashed potato. This is sardine. No need to cook. This is bread. This is what I eat. This is the best meal at this moment. This is called survival. Long way to go. I think this place called the B O K N. How to call this book? Book. Okay, never mind about that. This is my day 13, second day in highway adventure. Sun rise over there, and this is the bridge cross over to the other land. And this is the really Nice view actually, highway but nevertheless has something to offer. But if you think you want more something to offer, you go road 13. That is better. I climb up, climb down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up and down. Come down to the bridge loop. Get die. Oh man. This cat die now near the bridge digging a hole right now I bury the cat hopefully the cat die in peace early in the morning about 7 o'clock very nice uh, weather a very nice view to pass by here I managed to enter this cycling lane you not only see happy people in Norway, you also see happy house in Norway. Many farm over here. <laughs> oh, I got a warm welcome over here.
button right to follow E39 and E134 and on my left hand side <laughs> gas station looks like many things to offer I need to refill my stomach before I keep going keep going gas station charge my phone charge my stomach no rush I still have a long way to go. Go out to this uh, cycling lane. Cycling lane beside the road. Sometimes the cycling lane go the other way. With me no choice, I have to go back to the road. I try to stay on cycling lane as much as I can. I need to go up to this road to do a small detour because the European road that way bicycle not allowed because of the tunnel too deep so this way all the way and then I will march back to the European road somewhere around the roundabout over there the gas station is closed I did a little bit small service on my front hub put some oil adjust my brake just keep going keep moving keep moving 51 kilometers right uh, another gas station over here we can see many bikers keep moving keep moving hopefully if I can find one park or something like that not sure I just keep moving keep moving I think that is information counter <laughs> nice place hit 65 km this gas station closed at 10 pm right now I can have my food clean up or charging my handphone a set of this bread about 59 mm, chrome and my own Milo that's all for today at my dinner at this uh, gas station cell this place called Ulen something like that call it a day I'm not stay there <laughs> okay I able to talk to the staff they are closing at 10 o'clock set 10 over here 5 30 in the morning they will open the station so I have to be ready 5 o'clock 5 30 having my breakfast inside my breakfast here warm welcome from the gas station staff and I about to leave this place make my way to Lutfazan thank you very much <laughs> Really a uh, nice place. Cycling lane, like a little bit adventure over here. And I will join back to the main road over there. Uh, this is because it's very hilly, uh, not safe to use main road. When you do cycling, you do what you have to do as long as keep you safe. Time to time, you will not escape from mistake. It's a very nice scenery from here. If you go by the road, you don't see all this. If you rush, you don't see all this. If you race, you not even smell of this. But if you do touring one at a time and keep going, keep going, this is what you see. Another best day of my life. Nature Trail just beside the European route <laughs> very challenged for me in the same time I having fun to face all the challenge that I go through I'm not sure what's going to happen to me just keep going keep going look at that view a different place has different view to offer you. Sometimes go to the main road, sometimes go to the old road, sometimes go to cycling lane. I use all method to survive. <laughs> One of the most amazing breathtaking view in Norway. Oh, come on! Don't you agree with me?
I came from that direction. This is a toilet facilities. If that is cycling lane, very convenient, just use. If not, you do what you have to do. <laughs> Tunnel, but I can't go through. See the signboard say no walking, no cycling. And there is a detour, follow the cycling lane, making a loop. And I will merge back to a main road later on. One of the best, amazing, breathtaking view. This is my day 14. I go through a lot of obstacles. I got help from many people in Norway. I still have long way to go. And now I'm making my way to Lutfusen. And I'm having an invitation right in front of me, offering help. I'm not sure what to say. I, I just uh, blessed by this journey. But now I need to keep moving, keep moving. Outstanding. Entering one of the gas station. Uh, nice cafe over here. Going to have my uh, humble lunch over here and keep going. Another 17 to 20 kilometers to my location. A beautiful classic car. American car, according to the owner. Very nice. I need to go to the second tunnel, so I need to use the cycling lane. But the hill of cycling lane, very horrible. See the slope there? And I have another slope up. It's always up, up, up. Now go down right. <laughs> Don't be so happy. Little on in front. What the heck? I'm the only one over here. No car here. Nobody here. Only me. Inside this uh, scary tunnel. Out from the cycling lane. It's an old road actually. This is the last horrible tunnel that I can't use. That is the reason I can't use the tunnel. This is not the waterfall that I'm looking for. This is just a stopover. One of the locations that I add into my journey. And I'm here now. What amazing breathtaking view. Lot Fusun. That is the waterfall that I'm looking forward to see with my own eyes. Amazing breathtaking view over here. Look at that! Look at all the amazing breathtaking view. Another best day of my life. Oh. Outstanding! <laughs> Steep! Yes, I climbed from below. I still got a long way to go. I almost give up. Keep going, keep going. Very nice view from here. Very steep climb, long climb, but very nice view over here. 
I'm not sure how long more I have to keep climbing this hill. About 12 kilometers. Looks like going down. Is it going down? Much back to the main road, the highway. Seven kilometers more to the waterfall. Wow, here is damn nice. To road 13. And I have another four kilometers to Lord Fusan. Oh, oh yeah! Another best day of my life! I'm going down! Today, really long journey, long climb, best experience, another best day of my life to reach here. I've been watching on YouTube for the past two years for this green waterfall. This is called Lot Fusen, something like that. And today I managed to cycle up to here after 14 days. Promise myself if I get into this place, I will sleep here for one night and I will do that. Yes, I made it! <laughs> Woo! I achieved my goal. Taking a shower like bird, flash, 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 bread. <laughs> Can food. Mm. No. Mm. That's how I've survived for the past 14 days. I'm below the Twin Waterfall and this is the tourism ticket counter or booth, something like that. And this is where I'm going to camp. This is 6 o'clock in the morning. I slept very well beside this waterfall. Very worth to sleep here, very worth to cycle up to here. I really blessed to be here today to witness this twin waterfall. I reached yesterday night after 14 days of cycling Norway and I slept here. That is my promise to appreciate my journey to be here. You people Decide in the review. A good morning, Norway. This is my day 15 of Norway cycling experience. I'm leaving this waterfall soon. I have to say bye bye. And I'm heading to that way. Sayo Nara. This is uh, route 13 from the waterfall. Another best day of my life. A footpath or cycling lane over here. Why not to make use? If, uh, lead me to the other side of the tunnel and give me some time to record my journey over here. Wow! Happy for my first 10 km ride today. Keep moving, keep moving. To cycle all the way up to this uh, Uda. Grocery shop, huge uh, banana over here, getting very huge uh, cheese. This is my ration. A few meters away is a gas station. Maybe I can have my breakfast. I have to escape some of the long underpass 
important or something like that and I sit down here for quite some time to plan my new route that's the way to Bergen Cycling path, the ride is super relaxed a little bit, but not sure what coming in front. Yeah, making my way from Oda to Bergen. <laughs> One at a time. This is a quiet tunnel. Relax right and the ferry already here taking this ferry to the other side from the other side I can get to Bergen something like that one at a time this is my second time taking a ferry to cross over to the other land very smooth ride with the ferry corn in the can and milk dip the bread now another big loaf bread and another huge cheese and I have some pleasure to keep me warm. That's all. I'm survived. Had my dinner inside. And I think I'm going to call it a day over here. This bus station very warm. And there's a charging point over there for me to charge my phone. This is my day 16. I slept inside this bus station. The WC toilet ferry terminal. Get ready, keep going and keep going. Turn down one of the invitation from Stamnus. If I go into Stamnus, I have to make it that loop all the way up to the mountain to that location. Tight for my schedule. I have to make my way over here to Bergen. I'm really sorry for the invitation. And there is more invitation coming up on my way. I hope I can pass by the location. I'm using this Route 7 uh, on my way to Bergen and I bump into this uh, very nice uh, guy at this uh, location. How are you sir? Hey, good dog. Um, this is Jaffing, Boston citizen. Here in was 30, 35 years. Now I like Hadanga. This Route 7 to Bergen? Yes. I had no choice to enter this tunnel. I tried to look for the other way. The other way is blocked, I think, because the rock is full. With no choice, I just go through this long tunnel. A very beautiful route to pass by over here. Nice, relax. Not much car. Just came out from that hill, house. Nice number, double one, double one, with yellow bicycle, with nice breathtaking view. Cycle Norway, you have to live by the hill, die by the hill. Live by the hill, die by the hill. This is the way to Bergen. Keep moving, keep moving. Enjoy my journey. More important than I care about the hill. I took the ferry from that land to cross over to Gravin. Very nice. Another best day of my life. Very sweet climb, not bad at all. A quiet road over here. Not much car. Very uh, peaceful to ride. <laughs> Outstanding! 20 kilometers from the ferry terminal, there is a 
toilet over here. Take a break. This is my lunch. Green tea, beef carrot in the can, milk and salad. Sweet. At some point, I need to cross to the left. That is the bridge to cross to continue journey to Bergen. Crossing this bridge, too much to another route to Bergen. Very small lane, but very quiet road. Very nice. Uh, breathtaking view. After the bridge, turn right a little bit shorter but the road is slightly small but quiet. With a breathtaking view, can do nice touring. Peaceful, no rush. I have to remind myself, I'm here not to race. I'm here to appreciate my journey experience. A really nice breathtaking view. Another best day of my life. Live by the hill. Die by the hill. No joke. No joke at all. <sighs> this damn steep hill. More hill over there. And this is one of the best days of my life. Between 12 to 10 kilometers detour, go up the slope, cut through instead of going to the main road. Going down, merge to the main road again. And somewhere around there, want to follow the route to Bergen or want to cut through again. This is where I have to make a decision to go by the coast or to go by the route 49. I don't think so I can go any more further for today. I going to call it a day just for this waterfall is must to camp over here a souvenir shop i just bought a simple keychain for memories just below the waterfall on top of this waterfall near the waterfall and now the best day of my life waterfall just right in front of me, small laundry, one week plus, wearing the same <laughs> shirt and pants. This is my dinner, the bread and the huge cheese and just a warm water. Quietly try to camp tonight. For the past 16 days, I rode in the cold weather and my feet numb because of freeze. And today, a good time to warm up my feet Tomorrow I can ride up to the hill. To this information counter, that is the toilet. I'm going to sneak here. This is my tent. I really love waterfall. This is my day 16. I really honor to sleep over here to witness this waterfall. Norham Sun. I had a small talk with a resident over here. According to them, about 20 to 30 kilometers, I will see one more waterfall over there. And I will love it. This is my day 17. I'm on my way to Bergen, 80 more kilometers. But this long hill, every day I have to climb hill just to get to another place to climb a long hill or steep hill. This is what I face every day. I almost give up my ride.
just out from the second tunnel. Wow, oh, it's super long hill tunnel. I almost give up. Ah, another tunnel. Norway meant for hero rider. Not average Joe like me. This is my third tunnel. What's coming up? No idea. Keep moving, keep moving. Number four tunnel. What the heck? Keep moving, keep moving. About eight kilometers, I reach this top. I'm not sure going down or going up, but a uh, very nice view and snow. But this is not like my first five days in Norway. Very cold, minus eight, minus three. This is like uh, 15, 13, or maybe 10. I can wear normal jacket. No heat tech. Hard to ride, but in the same time, I'm having a good time. Amazing. Breathtaking view from here. Not the best day of my life. Outstanding. This is the waterfall the resident told me yesterday. The story behind this waterfall about the newlywed disappeared somewhere around here. What is the story? I'm not really sure. And what is the name of this waterfall? I also not sure. Uh, you can uh, Google. If you can Google, you can Google. If you can Google, you can Google. I have to keep moving, keep moving. Very nice look down. Not sure what coming in front. Up, 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 up. 45 kilometer away to Bergen. I need to take a rest, making my coffee, put some milk and of course my huge cheese, making sandwich. I need to take a break because my feet not fully recover. Let's coffee instant. I just go inside the gas station, take hot water, make my own coffee, something like this. Top up hot water can last me like six hours eight hours Norway is not a cheap country to <laughs> to visit doing a cycling touring like me for 40 over days <laughs> with a tight budget <laughs> you know what I mean I got the first flat over here I just realized and I want to change the tube I need to figure out where the issue came discover a small stone poke into the tire but I need to patch the tire from inside before I put new tube I make sure this whole cover otherwise this uh, issue repeating <laughs> big problem to do a touring nevertheless you must have a little bit basic mechanic no need to be so clever just a basic mechanic for you to change your chain tube and some other maintenance you need to know this once you know how to fix a little bit this and that your journey is slightly easy before i'm making my way to bergen i bump into one more region over here and he bring his guest this is from Hi. ukraine hello singapore Hi. hello singapore Hi. this is uh, kakak nora uh, watching me and follow me from the facebook a case about the stavanger that i enter the sea tunnel uh, Kak Nora want to say something? At least jumpa lah. Okay, want to say something to Singapore? <laughs> want to say hello to Singapore? Hi, it's really nice to meet a Singaporean come to Norway. Thank yeah. you for uh, uh, come over here to yeah. meet me. Yeah. Very good morning, 
this is my day 18 slept behind the bakery shop yesterday uh, sister Nora visited me and this is the bun she made for me I make coffee with a toilet water nice bread to eat for breakfast this morning time to make my way to Bergen Sometimes I use the road, sometimes I use the cycling lane. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm doing. Keep moving, keep moving. I rode 40 kilometers up to this uh, steep hill all the way. Want to go down to this hostel one more kilometers. I checking at this hostel for today. Only for today. Tomorrow, go down to the city center. That is the city center. Hostel, very nice. One of the best day of my life today. Still alive. Happy to be here. Bergen. The reception. Hello, say hello to Singapore. Hello. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to have breakfast inside there, right? Yes. Right. Away to the room. This lobby. And this is the hostel. Outstanding. Went down from the hostel. Wow, it's kind of busy city. I'm finally here. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Now looking for something to eat. I'm really happy to be here today. Really nice city, Bergen. This a big crab over here. Look around. Go right behind to see around this corner. Where is the best place for me to sit and park my bike? In the restaurant right now, and I order the soup and the bread. It's, it's slow crab, so it's like long, thin, thin legs. And okay. then we have grilled with the garlic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Say hello to Singapore. Hi, Singapore. <laughs> okay, I. A bit of okay, enjoy, enjoy my crab right now. It's a very small portion because I couldn't afford to get a, a big portion. But this is a good enough for me. Awesome and nice to, to dine in. Check out from Montana Hostel. Check in to one of the hotels in this city called Magic. Look around this city, really nice. There is something for me to do over here. Nice city to stay. This is my second day in Bergen. Not much people, I think I'm too early. Yesterday, everywhere, there's no place to sit. Blessed to be here. Come from there and you can see this is a place for you to take this, uh, I don't know how you call this, up to the mountain. Bergen was red nest. What the heck? Hey, my friend, give me two sets of reindeer meat uh, on the street. I can sit around this fish market. I'm too cold and tired. I need to go back to the room. My day 20 after rest in Bergen for two days. I uh, apply some medication to my feet. I don't want to give up now. I have to keep going, keep going. Looks like the Sakura is out. And I have to follow cycling lane to get up from this town. Very nice to pay a small visit away. Keep to the north to get out from this uh, Bergen city. Very beautiful place to pass by here. Cycling lane in the tunnel. <laughs> this is something new to me. This tunnel. Cycling lane. Okay, I lost my way to go to Alusu. Now he explained to me, Mister, where should I go first? First, you you got to right 
Okay. Over the hill, uh, the ferry is uh, uh, Upperdal. Upperdal. Up Upperdal. to Upperdal, and then I will take the ferry up to Lovik. Lovik. And then from Lovik, I can go to Sörde, and, then... and then you go to Polisen. Thank you very much. Follow. Okay. Say hello to Singapore. Hello, Singapore. Yes. Good journey. <laughs> Turn left. Keep moving, keep moving. Now I'm crossing the bridge. I need to do one at a time. Local tour here show me the way to Mongstan. Mongstan! Mongstan! All I need to do is to follow the cycling lane called Mongstan. I have to climb this mountain to do this tour because that is highway. But this uh, bush uh, kind of uh, nice in the same time, scary. To be honest, it's not an easy obstacle to look at this view. And I'm going down, uh, cycle by the shore. I'm not sure what happened to me after so much obstacle. Right for 70 kilometers, I end up at this uh, Rima. And there is a Shell Station cafe here. Nice view from here. Set my tent here. I can't go anymore because it's all tunnel. Bicycle is not allowed. So tomorrow I have to take the bus from here. Send me to the ferry terminal. That's all I can do. This is my day 21. I managed to get the express bus from this uh, place to ferry terminal. The bus driver that helping me. This uh, 60 kilometers is dangerous for cyclists. Express bus, Opedel, ferry, and cross to Lavik. I only can ride from Bergen to the place I slept yesterday. I'm not sure how to call that place, maybe something like Oyster Radiant, something like that. Because of too many tunnels and super long tunnels. Two super long tunnels, and the road is not really good for cyclists. I took an express bus. Now I'm making my way to Oden before making loop to Alusen, something like that. I'm really not sure what I'm doing right now. From Lavik over there, super smooth road, straight road, and the scenery is really nice. A very super strong wind over here. A lot of wind. Cross wind, head wind, tail wind. Everywhere wind. Very nice location to cut to here. complicated road to pass by just to get to this location. This is journey, not destination. This is one of the breathtaking view for my journey today. Long way to go. daughter somewhere around my journey because in front is a uh, heavy traffic and construction so I got to pass through there I have a courtesy ride from Nora daughter <laughs> so I save a little bit of kilometer this is not because I'm cheating this is because I uh, yes yes had no choice day is getting dark I just came beside this uh, River 
I think very close to someone house and very close to a campsite. I just do what I can, and this is what I eat. Very budget. Make coffee. I got the hot water from the gas station. The weather is too cold. I getting getting hungry with my broken tent. <laughs> Good morning, this is my day 22. Yesterday got help from Nora daughter. She drove me from somewhere around, I'm not sure where, or obstacle road up to Frode, Frudy. And from Frudy I cycle about almost 19 kilometers. I'm here at uh, Versenden, something like that. Very close to people's house actually and very close to river. I slept very well. My sleeping bag really do a good job. But my tent tear apart here and there. <laughs> About five kilometers from the place that I slept yesterday. Very nice. Road to pass by. I'm sorry, I'm eating chocolate. Right, all the way to all done in order to see all this scenery. Another a best day of my life. Worth to go all the way up to here. Right on the road, when I see a cycling lane much, I just join back to cycling lane, and the cycling lane is gone. I'm going back to, <laughs> to the road. Nothing much to complain for this journey by looking at the breathtaking view. One of the best days of my life. I'm very close to one of the gas stations. I need to have breakfast. I really I am so blessed to be here and I'm still alive and I have to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. This road really freedom can ride very relaxed. Once in a while, car or public bus, public bus passing by here. Another a breathtaking view over there. I spent 12 kilometers use the cycling lane and Somewhere around, somewhere around somewhere, the road can't move on anymore because back with the snow. I have to spend another 12 kilometers back to the main road. But I had a good time, good experience, very nice location. Now I'm using the normal road. Keep moving, keep moving. Straight road, flat, but the wind is kind of strong coming from the front. That really a sweet spot to cycle all the way to Alden. Still long way, I have to keep moving, keep moving. I need to climb over the mountain to go to Oden or Lubanet. But day is getting dark and this gas station, I can have my dinner. Maybe camp over there, set up my tent because this counter going to close at 10 o'clock. 1.40 a.m. in the morning, I just uh, suddenly wake up because of, I want to pee and I realize I think it's raining non-stop. I'm glad I came at this gas station. A 
and no one here. <laughs> so lucky. Otherwise, I would have faced raining if I came without shelter. And my tent, <laughs> very horrible tent. Hmm. Time to go to sleep again. Very good morning. This is my day 23. I'm located at how to call this place Bakajelo, something like that. Crossing over the mountain to go down to Olden and I can make turn to Luvetnet. But the thing is that am I safe to do that today because of the weather? If I just go straight right in front there. I might catch a bus around 10, 40, something like that just to cross over the mountain to Alden. I'm kind of stubborn person. I try my best not to take any public transport as long as I can cycle. Station going to open soon. Uh, maybe I take a break at the station for a while. Think about it. Mountain is a 16 kilometer climb. A very steep. That's what I know, a long climb. And inside this uh, best gas station that I slept yesterday, the staff, she gave me one of these stickers. So whenever I enter best gas station, I'm going to have a free coffee. Another best day of my life. It's really blessed. This is my day, 23. Either I live by the hill or die by the hill. Look at that view from here. You have to climb damn bloody mountain everywhere in Norway. Climb three kilometers start to raining. Not that heavy, it's just dizzling. Almost give up. And I keep moving, keep moving after five kilometers I face a snow not a heavy snow just a snowflake something like this but still snow I have to keep moving keep moving I'm not a hero I'm still an average Joe this is the result that really worked to go this way. I'm going to remember this place for the rest of my life. Thanks to my buddy capability to bring me up to this a breathtaking view. Another best day of my life. And now I have to watch out downhill very steep I had to use many rigs lucky that my buddy on this break I call my wife buddy <laughs> farm into uh, uh, this caribbean tour from <laughs> Netherlands say hello to Singapore hello <laughs> keep moving keep moving I think I'm in Olden now. I must be in Olden. I'm not going to be wrong. I must be in Olden. Yeah, I am in Olden. This is the junction. If I go straight all the way, I go to Alupsen. All loosen.
I decided, why not to visit Lumpet Nut? Just check in here, and this man. How you call this place? Ah yes, the angel asked me to come here. Thank you very much. Happy me. A big mistake, but a big happiness. I supposed to go to Louvet, Nut, but my turn into this ballet called. What do you call this ballet again? Called all the dolls. Just neighbor to. And Campsite is really affordable. I can make use of the kitchen. I can charge my power bank. Amazing breathtaking view. A nice boss. Only 100 room. And I can camp anywhere. Salin. And corn. Slice of cheese. This is what I'm cooking. Mix everything together. Eat with a bread. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Now it's about 8:30. Look at the view over there. It's convenient for a cyclist like me. The hospitality with affordable price. A breathtaking view. Hmm. Important that I'm safe and my convenience is first priority. And good night sleep. A very good morning. This is my day 24. Some of you already know me very well. Why I do this long distance cycling. I dedicate my life to do a long distance cycling is because of my medical condition. Today I don't feel very well. Looks like I'm having a hard time to breathe. I made a long way yesterday to this valley. Best experience campsite for cyclists to consider to be here. Look at the water is so greeny. Thanks for lead me to this long way. I had a good orderly direction by made a mistake to get here. Hello, good morning. This is my day twenty-four. I'm making a short visit to Louvet. No. I try to go a little bit further. But the road is kind of uh, small and many walking vehicles up and down so it's kind of tough to cycle here uh, not that flat, a little bit up and down slope but nevertheless the breathtaking view offset all the pain nice to be here outstanding another Best day of my life. Wonderful and amazing, breathtaking view over here. That's my buddy. And that's uh, maybe 10-15 meters. 
that is last time people do for the farm. Yeah? I don't have drone. Fly on the sky to record my journey. I don't have GoPro. I only using my humble Samsung Galaxy to record my journey. And I don't have a Garmin speedometer to calculate my distance and my speed. I use the traditional cat eye and I set manually as tire rotation to get the most accurate distance with a very minimum knowledge to cycle Norway. <laughs> not really easy but I just do it I get used to it with the weather and I got help from people along my journey this is my day 25 and 40 kilometers to Alusan, a gas station, grocery shop, toilet facilities. This is where I set my tent yesterday. This is just around the corner. Good morning, buddy. <coughs> Sit down here and warm my body, and there is a charging facilities. Hornindel, very nice uh, town here. Well slept yesterday over here kind of cold but my sleeping bag really helping me my broken tent <laughs> quiet not crowded only one person walking at this moment my heart recovery getting a little bit better I will not give up I will go all the way all the way Another a best day of my life. A breathtaking view, amazing breathtaking view. No money can buy. Oh, standing. Four kilometers to the ferry terminal. Ferry just left, not to worry. One ferry left, another ferry come. No need to become so stupid, go and rush. Out from the ferry, now I at Alusen. Very early. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Need to look for a place to to set my tent. Not sure what's going to happen today and tomorrow. Student from the high school. I'm a graduate. Graduate. Uh, with the pants. With the pants or with the party. Yeah. This is the traditional way, right? Yeah. The yeah. original. Show me what to do in Norway. All of Norway. All of Norway. 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 Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Of course. Good advice. So say hello to Singapore. Hello Singapore. Okay. Really embarrassed to, uh, to ah, get to get drip cool. from the student. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Very nice city here. I'm not sure what street is this. Uh, I came from the other way, going down to the city, and I say hello to my friend over here. <laughs> keep moving. Keep moving. Finally, I'm here. One of the church located at Olusen, they're going to have a service 11 o'clock. 
very uh, nice architecture and blessing for the new baby. Here I learned something about Norwegian, how they celebrate newborn baby get together on Sunday service. Just the best experience to know a little bit more about Norwegian. Burger King uh, restaurant, a penny, a cup of coffee. He's a manager here. Yes. Yes, a manager here. Junior offer, free coffee. Four kilometers from the Burger King, flat tire. Go by this way, cycling lane. A little bit of climbing the mountain, but it's a uh, breathtaking view. After fix the flat tire, I managed to get here. 8.30. Looks like... Good old day choo choo train. This playground set a tent, very nice to sleep. And the breathtaking view over here. I go to the gas station for a while, wash up, clean up, come back here, set my tent, call it a day. Tomorrow, keep moving, keep moving gas station shell, clean up and maybe get some food. Very nice uh, uh, talking to him. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, gas station is really a place for me to to always uh, get help. <laughs> Please stay now. Nice breakfast. See you around, Christina. Have a nice day. This is my day 27. I'm making my way to the ferry terminal. I'm going to meet someone very special. Very, very special. I must not reject this invitation. It's slow. What should I do? Just keep moving. Keep moving. I'm almost there to the ferry terminal. 500 meter. 30 kilometers right under raining and snow condition. Finally, I'm arrived here at this ferry terminal. I'm going to visit a special person today. She is a Singaporean but stay in Norway. I about another 15 to 20 kilometers to her house. Just out from the ferry, I on the way to Lisa house to celebrate Edil Pitri. I just arrived here at Lisa house. <laughs> okay, that's Lisa. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, selamat hari raya. <laughs> okay, uh, this is my bike. Yes. Okay, this is myself. Are you? This is my husband. Okay, how are you, sir? My dog. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Time to come in, I'm really freezing. Bapa namanya Ya ini tuan rumah jemput saya datang makan Lebaran gitu ya. I've been invited by the house owner, uh, Lisa Fan. Very crowded over here. I didn't expect that I can celebrate Edith Petri in Norway. Yeah, Lisa and husband bring me out for a little bit of adventure. We are going for shooting rain. This is the bullet for the shotgun. Okay, this is uh, Adrian, yeah? Adrian is uh, Lisa's son. Uh, so I uh, take a walk with him to get to know more about uh, this uh, place. Uh, what you call this place? Okra? Okra? Okra. I always see things like very uh, different from the actual name. It's a campsite. Uh, very up to the end. Very close to uh, Lisa's house, actually. And uh, really uh, nice. Breathtaking view. That's my body. This is where I sleep. Have to make my move today. This is my day 30. Fetch Adrian from school to send him back home before I'm making my way to Atlantic Ocean Road. I now ride from Ukra to Mala. I'm making a loop turn. 
around boat just to experience farm over here. Today cycle about 55 kilometers. I arrive at this uh, very nice place. I think it's not bad at all to set my tent over here. Why not? I already done 55 kilometers. Nice uh, view for me to set a tent over here. Place I think called Hustad Vika. Something to do with uh, shallow water. I'm making a right choice to making look to boot before making look to Atlantic Ocean Road and in the same time I will pass by Mala to experience a Viking graveyard. This is Mala. This is one of the Viking graveyard and I'm making my way to Atlantic Ocean Road right now. This is it. I'm going to cross Atlantic Ocean Road. Let's do it. So honored to be here. Do you see the curve there? Oh man, no way I'm going to climb that. Very strong wind. But let's do it. Oh man, this is really crazy. Very strong wind coming down. Very strong wind. Glad I'm safe. The strong wind to cross over that bridge. No joke. Managed to get to this gas station. Raining is coming down very heavy soon. Reach this gas station safely. This is my lunch. Missing a gas station food for almost three to four days. <laughs> Two o'clock, 45 kilometers. Stop right, stop right. So much rain today, leave me no choice. I have to use this bus stop now. It's about nine o'clock, not much people. And this bus stop, there's no bus coming here. Call it a day. I have to look for shelter to set my tent. The, the rain will not stop. Today, after cross the Atlantic Ocean Road, I decided to go all the way to Kristen soon. Today. This is the last bus stop cross over to the tunnel. Today is Saturday, the bus will be here about 9.15 and I will cross to Kristen soon. In the bus uh, cross over to this uh, Kristen soon. This is the tunnel. I think this tunnel go under the sea. The gas station, look at that. That is a Kristen soon city. Very kind Norwegian came to me, offer help come to her house to sleep. I refuse that offer. This is not the first time I turned down someone try to help me. But the thing is that I try my best to be independent as much as I can. Oh man, I, I felt very bad. From the gas station, go down by this... Uh, don't know what is this lane. I straight away Love Kristen Sun. Oh man, how can I not love this place? I really love this place. Very nice harbor. Why not wrong? Somewhere around here, I can take ferry all the way to Trondheim. Nah. Very big uh, space, can put my bicycle inside. Very big elevator, I can just push my bike in without uh, struggling. Breakfast included, affordable price, not expensive, not cheap, but affordable. Eating a humble sandwich beside the harbor, see the ship sailing. This is one big bird, man, very big, no cat to feed. 
Lucky got this bird. Got company. Please, my cat. To see me. Here. To view the street. Uh, you know, I'm going to miss this place. Checking out very soon. After my breakfast. I keep moving, keep moving. Good afternoon. I'm leaving Kristen soon. Make my way to Aura, something like that. Oh man, I always pronounce a different <laughs> city word. But I think you get the idea. Keep moving, keep moving. So sad to leave this city. Woo! So much thing to offer in one small city. The National Day is coming. A big flag over there on the bridge. I also hanging flag on my bike. I'm not sure what is the deal, but nice to see this. I'm making my way to the ferry terminal. I'm going to Aura, Auri. I'm sorry. This ferry terminal, I parked my bike over there. There is a warm room over here myself warm. That is my flag. <laughs> I uh, looking forward to celebrate uh, Norwegian National Day. This time I park my bicycle inside near the cafe. The door, you just push the button and not much people in this ferry. Me and my buddy Arrive at this uh, place. I think this can call Tuns Tunsna something like that. I really not sure how to call the place name. Just keep moving. Enjoy. Just enjoy. Keep moving. My journey with a lot of obstacle. I like this loop journey. Dead. One big cow over there. Very big cow. Very healthy cow. Just fix my flat tire. Very sharp stone. Poof, inside. Aura. I think that's the right name. <laughs> Speechless. Keep moving, keep moving. Looks like this place are good for call it a day. Already done 48 kilometers. Bumblebee. This is the bumblebee. This is the owner. This is the bridge number four that I cross for 48 kilometers right today. And this is the view. Outstanding. This is my broken tent. I fix bit by bit every part torn apart inside the tent, torn here and there. Having a special invitation from Trondheim to cycle up to Trondheim, another 200 kilometers to meet someone special. She is Singaporean, stay in Norway for very long time, and I can't turn this down. From Trondheim, I will go back to Oslo by train. This is my day 34. It's only one thing to do today. Keep moving, keep moving. My wheel wobbling. Adjust the spoke here and there. Kind of okay. Take a break. Keep moving. Outstanding peace road. I have to face a little bit hill challenge. I think it's okay, just take my time to climb. Not that hard, I think. I did the worst. I just keep moving, keep moving. Move, moving, moving, moving. 
Hi, buddy. Keep moving, buddy. Long hill. Keep moving. I came from over there. The hill that I climbed, top of this mountain. Every time when I want to get to another place, it's not the hill that I have to climb. It's the mountain. Uh, now a little bit drizzling. I think passing by a cloud. Farm to a, a caravan tour. Eh? They are asking how is my journey. Say hello. <laughs> so, okay. hello, hello, hello. Yeah, uh, very nice and kind uh, person stopped by and asking how I do. The rain is stopped. Nice to ride. Keep moving, keep moving. The experience that I pass by this loop, that is the most important and other things. Yep. Point D34. I came from that road and I reached this uh, gas station. Had my mail inside, free Wi Fi, charging my power bank, my phone. Make use of the facilities. Now it's uh, 10 15, going to be dark. Just right behind the station, this kind of uh, river. Set my tent here. <laughs> behind the station. I think this is good enough. I like to be this way. Weather is good. 12 to 13 degrees, not so cold. With this river view, <laughs> feel like I'm not at the gas station. Sound from the river flowing. This is a, a best way to sleep, honestly. Good night. Very good morning, this is my day 35. I'm making my way to Trondheim. Going to be easy peasy slow ride. This is one of the outstanding <laughs> a breathtaking view. I couldn't done this without people helping me along my journey. People from the gas station, people from the grocery shop, everybody that helping me along my journey, give me drinks, give me food, give me place to stay, give me way. You know, people driving in Norway is very disciplined. And the police and the government, anybody, anybody in Norway, thank you very much. I have a few more days to complete my journey to Tornheim. Keep moving, keep moving! Should I go straight? Should I go left? Aha! I'm glad I make a left turn. A nice hidden place to take a short break. set up my tent here in the same time I had a deep cut on my tire the stone is really like a Japanese knife can just cut into your tire strong call it a day buddy I will fix you soon he give me some information how to get to Trondheim been to Singapore yeah he, Singapore. he been to yeah, Singapore yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what what year is that you've been to Singapore 30 years 30 years ago okay and then he he know that I had a flat tire. He offered me a ride to Trondheim, but <laughs> I I not doing that. I not doing that. <laughs> really nice chat with him. Say hello to Singapore. Hello Singapore. All right. Uh, <laughs> come back. <laughs> come back. Okay. He will come back to Singapore. Anyway, thanks for your offer, but I will ride all the way to Trondheim. That is my mission. Deep and big cut. The tire can't use anymore. But lucky, I have a spare tire. Okay, let's fix this. I really hungry today. This is one nice place to dine in. I think I'm going to have a good 
good experience. Hello, chef. Hello. I would like something to eat. I really need a break. <laughs> my dinner. This is my body. Basically, body is uh, built by myself using a mountain bike frame, uh, Polygon Premier 4, if I'm not wrong. And this is the handlebar I use. Uh, Jones actually I can buy much more cheaper from China uh, just no brand but Jones also made in China uh, this is a Brooks shadow and uh, you know Brooks one of the best shadow to do a long distance touring and the rest of the part from my body is all from China I bought from AliExpress Lazada yeah basically it's just a, a simple build by me to do touring I have this uh, pump but I also have the electric pump. I bring both. What I did and what I do now. This is about tourism. Tourism. Sport. Adventure. To see the world in different way. That's what I'm doing right now. To learn more better life. How tough to be independent that too much comfort zone that <laughs> I having in Singapore you can see this is the camping site very nice place there. this is the information counter and the toilets actually uh, let me show you this is the map let me share with you this is Kristen Sun after I crossed the Atlantic Ocean I decided to pay a small visit to Kristen soon and after that I decided to go to Trondheim this is how I cycle instead of going this way I going this way and I'm making a, a, a loop turn until I slept at the gas station over here and I right now somewhere around here and my way now to Tonham. Weather looks very good right now. It's only one thing to do today. Keep moving, keep moving. You ready buddy? Keep moving, keep moving. Turn this way slightly longer, but I going to have a peaceful ride. Another best day of my life. quiet road, not busy like the other side and the scenery also kind of a amazing breathtaking view and this is the way I have to go very nice truck I stopped by here because of this truck just because of this truck free Coffee. I got this privilege from the gas station before I forgot the place. I see this place. Why not do small touring? I kind of like it over here. Touring around this town. Indeed, like 30 kilometers. I'm not in hurry. I'm in a good schedule. Looks like. I can call it a day over here. Extra grocery shop and this lady really helping me a lot. Thank you very much for your help. This uh, boy asking me uh, how is my journey during the Norway uh, cycling. He's uh, originally from uh, Syria.
this is touring. Touring is about your experience. A good and nice place. I need to check in into this hotel. If I don't do so, I make myself so stupid. Join the adventure. Hello. I'm here early on. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello. Okay. I'm finished touring around this town. I'm ready to check in. Okay, you can talk with Monica. Okay, Monica, thank you very much. Yeah, okay, welcome. let's call it a day. This is Monica. Monica uh, visited Singapore during the 80s, yeah, yeah Monica? Yeah, yeah. Um, 1993, I think. Yes, yeah. Nine, yeah, okay. So Monica ran this. Uh, yeah, with my husband. Yeah, with the husband. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward for my dinner. Yeah, yeah Monica? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's very popular. Okay, I eating well for my dinner. Room kind of uh, just nice for me. View the street, the church, and then the cemetery is just right there. I need to use the internet to watch the TV. So this is a uh, idyll fitri <laughs> Singapore TV uh, playback. The guest house, hotel, hostel, something like that. And my buddy going to take a rest over there. See you tomorrow, buddy. My dinner just arrived uh, in this uh, cafe. Uh, my first bite to try eat real meat. <laughs> just uh, drizzling. I can keep moving, keep moving. Coast right up to Trondheim. Peace goes right over here. <laughs> the other side is only an expressway. This is the only cycling lane to get to Trondheim. I think so. I'm going to get uh, many cuts and many flats. I have to go through this uh, road. And I still have more long way to go. Hopefully somewhere around there. The route is getting better. So leave me no choice. I have to release some air from my tire. Hopefully that's work. This part uphill, I have to push my body in order not to get flat tire. And I see somewhere around there still a very rough bump. I just keep pushing my body. A little bit of trail, green corridor, got no choice, keep moving, keep moving. It's kind of down slope, I'm not sure I'm doing okay or not because that is a very steep slope down. I better not to do any mistake, I already promised my wife I'm going to come back for her. Five kilometers experience of hiking, cycling, go through, climb up the mountain. A really uneven path finally I get to this main road and this is the cycling lane just beside the expressway on the right hand side uh, I think this route lead me all the way to the train station keep moving keep moving grocery shop spa getting some chicken in case I hungry on my way circle around this church Nice bar over here. Very honored to be here. Very nice. Ha ha ha. I 
I going to sleep here. Hello, you from the other side. This is my day 37, and I call it a day over here. Just now, rain. No choice. Have to push my body inside, sitting here, watching the view. something like for me to take cover leave me no choice to set my tent inside here sailing in front of me <laughs> really nice good experience another best day of my life <laughs> very nice uh, relax enjoy right in the morning Experience this uh, National Day marching at this small town. <laughs> Mini marching. Today I am meeting someone very special. Remember him? Yeah, I'm really happy to, to, to have some company with me today. A restaurant. I invited by this shop owner. Yes, uh, Diana invite me for uh, a nice meal over here. And I really appreciate it. All I need to do is eat as much as I can. Something like that. How much you want? Sushi. This is a California roll. This is also like a California roll. And this is uh, something like uh, more like uh, Asian cuisine. Salmon really fresh. And the salmon egg. Mm. <laughs> Is a daughter of uh, Diana, owner of this uh, cafe. Uh, Alisa, thank you very much. Okay, say hello, Singapore. This is my day 38. I completed my ride to Trondheim yesterday, and I only do like uh, exploring, touring around, and I'm making my way to Sister Zakia house tomorrow. Another Singaporean invite me to a house, a portable hostel for me to relax and take a break. Today, buddy will be sleeping together with me. Simple room, just nice for me. Very good afternoon. I just check out from the guest house. I'm making my way to sister Zakia house. And I decided make a small visit over here and this <laughs> damn bloody thing is not working to cycle up here no joke this thing works only in summer This is my last day in Trondheim city centre. I had a great experience over here. Sister Zakia house uh, just had my dinner and now we are having tea. Yeah? This is uh, Zakia husband. And that is Zakia, and that is uh, Meow Meow. <laughs> I have my hospitalities for one or two days before making my way back to Oslo. Uh, lost my count. This is my 39 days or 38? Yeah, 39. 39 days, yeah. Now out to the friend house uh, invitation to visit the farm. We have what you call the alpine place called uh, Wasfjelle, which okay. is on the left. Okay. You can see stone there. Okay. Uh, our Trondheim's, uh, how to say, Alpine Center. Okay. And this is the whole of Okay. So right now we're going down to the your farm. friend's farm. Friend's okay. friend's farm, okay. uh, the least let's farm. Okay. Let's 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 uh, experience the farm. Ah! <laughs> and this is Lila. Thank you for inviting me uh, over here to have a free date. 
I celebrate my birthday because I'm here third uh, fourth April. Today is May, but it's still my birthday. So <laughs> they are milking the whole summer. Okay. So they have to stay inside. Okay. So they can get close. But uh, in the summer we have the upper terrace. Okay. So we can go out and in all day, night. All morning we start. Okay. Okay. So they all can sleep at the same time. And they have their feeding places, so everybody can stand and eat at the same time. What's the rule? Rule, okay. No way. <laughs> boring. Oh, okay. You see how much is doing the... Uh, ah, the oh, means she is boring. boring. Ah, yeah, boring. very bad cow, baby. very bad cow, yeah. How about you? You you okay? Okay, I, I'm okay. okay. I see. A good experience at this farm. Yeah, this is a good experience. This is okay, but the other one that show us that she is boring. That's why the tongue play or twist, 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 something like that. The machine sucks the milk from the cow and go this way. And this is the storage, yeah? Thank you to the uh, uh, farm owner here. Uh, uh, yeah, introduce me the farm. Uh, yeah, want to say hello to Singapore. Hello. Hello to Singapore. Okay. Hello. <laughs> this farm, another best day of my life. Not only cycling, I experience farm, waterfall, fjord, mountain, climb up, up, another up. You know, there's mountain and another mountain and that another mountain. There's another small mountain on top of that mountain. And I just keep moving, keep moving. This is my day 40. I'm done with my cycling. I just doing tourism at this hidden location. This is my day 41. I just left sister Zakia house I had a very good experience I need to go to Hamadel train station to go back to Oslo city getting ready for a national day celebration this is Hamadel train station this is track one all the journey is about 2100 kilometers. So amazing cycling journey experience in Norway. I did a little bit of east, a little bit of south, a little bit of west. I don't have chance to go up to Lufthansa. If I been given a lot of time, I would do so. Train is arriving 11:31. Yeah, I'm going back to Oslo. See you tomorrow, buddy. Actually, gonna take the flight. Ah, uh, yeah, miss the flight. Yeah, <laughs> and we become a uh, friend and buddy. <laughs> traditional suit during the national day. These uh, costumes are from the eastern part of Norway. Okay, eastern part of Norway. Okay. Yes, okay. it's a place called Gudbrandsdal. Uh -huh. okay. uh, there is a town in that valley which okay. is uh, famous okay. for us. Okay. It's called Lillehammer. Okay. We hosted the Olympic Games back okay. in 94. So. Okay. Hello Singapore. Okay, my granddaughter is just taking part. Okay. And we are waiting for the uh, king and queen to wave. To wave, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Say hello to Singapore. Hello, Singapore. <laughs> Beginning of the street over there, all the way up to the castle. Back. Get something from my wife. Really appreciate for her bless that my ride completed. The outstanding service is my coffee. Close the dim. This is the guy that uh, really patient to serve me. So um, this is for you. This is for this me. For your wife. This is for my wife. And this is a small gift for you. 
and it is a small gift for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Best experience inside this uh, souvenir shop. A very special dinner. Restaurant that I'm going to have my dinner soon. I'm sitting here, my buddy is just right there. It's the taste of Norway. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, it's just four different types of meat. Okay. Uh, so I think if I'm right, uh, it will be the moose, and yeah. I think it's the whale, okay. then it's the beef, and then it's the reindeer. Bye bye Oslo. The ticket counter. I paid about 114 kron. Krono. Right from Oslo to Gardumon Hotel is about 55 kilometers. Uh, I'm done. This is my train. Easy busy. Take it easy. I'm done. I'm done. I just want to enjoy my journey to the airport and stay at night at Gardumon Hotel. On the way to the airport and I will bump into. Eric, Eric. Eric. Uh, we've been saying for 10 years. Okay. Uh, I've seen for it. I've seen it last week. Okay. And uh, it's fantastic videos you uh, put on. And Norway. you know about me, uh, the, the news about the state bank? Yes. <laughs> you've, been a, you've been a great ambassador yeah, for yes, Norway. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, after arrive by the train, you can just use the cycling lane to cycle about 7 kilometers to Gardumun Hotel. box for the base and the rest actually my old tent and I use this uh, this 50 bucks and you you sponsor me for for my buddy to send for service with Derek in the shop at Lowell Delta thank you very much Derek hotel transport bring me to the airport if I doing this in Oslo it's going to be very difficult for me. So this one of the best. One night stay. Pack my bike, transportation, straight away to the airport. Very exclusive. Only me. One person in the shuttle. Yeah. Uh, I only paid like a 70, how you call 70 krono. My flight from Oslo to Heathrow, London. Heathrow, London. Terminal 5. I ready for boarding. See everyone on the other side. My body not lost this time. Make my way out. Terminal 1. Follow this footpath. Look for the cycling lane to Terminal 2. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Let me try. I'm not used to it to go back to the left hand side. I still like cycle in the right hand side. What the heck? Ah. <laughs> I would like to thank people in Norway that helping me. Only one thing to say, Hurrah!